At her husband's funeral, the woman wore a wedding dress. She plucked a flower from her head and placed it in her son's hand. After giving her son a final look, she abruptly stood up, pushed him away, and then used a dagger to pierce her own heart. Her son stared in shock at his mother's actions. Meanwhile, his mother slowly walked to her husband's grave. Ignoring her son's cries, she lay down in her husband's grave. From then on, the boy became a lonely orphan. Fellow clansmen bullied him, calling him a parentless wild child. However, during these times, only his cousin Xiao Yao, from his aunt's family, would step up to defend him. Their bond deepened as a result, but their happiness was short-lived. Rebellion erupted at the border. Xiao Yao's mother was appointed by the king to lead the troops to quell the uprising. On that eve of her departure, she found her nephew Zhang Yuan. She entrusted him with a dagger. Her mother used to commit suicide and asked him to take care of Xiao Yao. Then she headed to the border with her army. Years passed with Xiao Yao and Song Zhuan waiting. Until one day, several years later,